a hole, a hole, a hole. Thank you very much for this presentation. Uh, Eighty-two years ago, I came to Bay Cone from the Indian Reservation. I could hardly read, write, speak the English language. But the people at Bay Cone, Christian people, were good to me. They helped me. They set me on the right road. As an ambassador for Bay Corn for the last 50 years, I had been going throughout the world telling people of the great and wonderful work that Bay Corn College has been giving to the country and to the world. A hope, a hope. Present with you a framed picture of the new Bacon Pendleton blanket that, Doc, that uh, Sandra Peters has uh, designed for us. We'll be ordering that blanket this year and we'll be sending you your blanket once it comes in. Thank you very much. Let me just say that Bacon College's future in large measure meets the vision that our Vice Chair of the Board Chief Ken Adams of the Upper Mattapanai Tribe shared with me this past month, where he said, Rob, my greatest hope and dream is that Bacon will help create the American leaders, national leaders, for the future. We're dedicated to start that process, and I cannot think of a better way than to start that process providing Dr. Medicine Crow this honorary degree. This is his fourth honorary degree. And in his family's description to me before starting our graduation ceremony, it completes a circle. It completes the points on the compass. Not only has he served as an ambassador for, for Bacon, he has served this country as a war hero and is the last war chief for the Crow Nation, satisfying all four elements of being a chief on the battlefield, including the capturing of horses in World War II. <laughs> He has received from our president the President Medal of Freedom in August of 2009. He is a Knight of the French Legion of Honor at the Chevalier level. And he also is a distinguished speaker and author. It is our honor to have him here today to help us define our future as we remember who has come through these halls before. Thank you for sharing your presence with us here today. We have a tradition on Crow Indian Reservation in Montana that when our college has a graduation <clears throat> day, we would uh, have our graduates stand in line and the tribal elder would come and sing their praises. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So if you graduates will stand where you are, look around, I'll sing your praises. <laughs> this is a good custom. They're doing it right now at Little Bighorn College in Montana. All the students, look the other way. Look the other way so he can look at you. All right. <laughs> Hey, 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 hey,
Look at me, remember me all. 